Good morning. I hope everybody's staying warm this morning. It's snowing a little bit here in Tennessee. Uh, hope my friends in Florida are got their socks on with their flip flops and staying warm down there as it's probably like 50 degrees this morning. So just messing with you. Uh, all right, just a quick tip about USCA. First and foremost, it's 100% financing. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, it's got to be an approved property. Uh, usually in city limits, it's, it's not approved. So there's a map, um, you know, any questions you have, just comment down below or shoot me a private message. I can look up the property for you. It takes literally two seconds to make sure that the property is approved for, for USDA. The other, um, that's the second thing. Third thing is 6% seller concessions. Okay. Now let's say you only get like 3% for, for some reason, you know, like going back and forth with the seller. Uh, if the appraisal comes in higher, we can roll in the, the extra closing costs, you know, like if there is some. So just keep that in mind. It's not, I mean, that's so different than so many other programs. So, you know, for an example, let's say the, the house sales price is 100000 and let's say the appraisal comes back for, for 102 Well, we can bump it up to more thousand to roll in the closing costs on that. Very, very key, uh, especially, you know, as, as you start getting down to like 150 to 100000 or less, uh, the, the percentage of closing costs goes up because, you know, it's a certain percentage. There's a certain percentage of title fees, lender fees, and, and so forth, taxes, that, that basically stay almost the same, but the, but the percentage shoots up. So if the appraisal comes in higher, we can roll in the closing costs. That's huge. Um, and if you have a certain amount, um, you know, of closing costs by the seller, the lender, meaning us, we, we can actually help you like with a lender credit if needed. You know, there's, there's different types of pricing. When, when we price out a loan, whether it's FHA, USDA, VA, any type of loan, there, there's certain, you know, on each rate, depending on credit score, if the credit score is below 620, it's really tough on pricing. But if you're above that and, and start getting higher, higher, higher. Now with USDA, they, they really crack down where it becomes a lot more difficult to, to get an automated approval when the credit score is below 680. Now I've gotten them down, down to 660, sometimes even below that. Um, but basically pricing gets tougher as, as, the, as the credit score goes down for obvious reasons, more risk, they think. Uh, but if there's a way that, that the lender can give you a lender credit to offset the lack of seller concessions from the seller, uh, that's, you know, th I mean, that definitely helps like, the, I mean, as far as the whole situation, as far as getting them approved and, and all that. So, um, for an example, you know, last week, like we had somebody that they weren't getting, you know, like a lot of seller concessions from the seller because the seller was like, nope, I'm not doing it. It's a, it's a hot market and so forth. So we actually had to kick in a certain amount to help out our buyer. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, give me a shout below, um, shoot a comment, uh, shoot me a text at 423-262-9229 or shoot me a private message uh, here on Facebook. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye.